Hey YouTube, it is RC with RC67 here. And I haven't made a video in a few weeks here. The last one I made, I think was right around the 4th of July. Uh, but I got uh, four new additions to add to the collection and these are the Mini GTs. And uh, they're actually pretty nice little cars. I'm gonna kind of talk a little bit about them here today. And we'll go ahead and start here with the Corvette. So this here is the 2020 Corvette. It's, uh, this one particular model comes in yellow. They had, uh, I believe they had a white and a yellow and a red and I think a black. So this was the mid-engine Corvette that came out. On the top here, you see a window or a back window on the car and you can actually see in and see the, the mid-engine of the car. Then you got your uh, Stingray logo there and then of course the spoiler across the back. These new Corvettes kind of have more of a European look to them. They're very sleek looking. Um, very fast looking even when they're sitting still. I think it's pretty cool. Four rubber tires, um, has a metal base. Uh, not a ton of detail on the bottom, but you can make out some of the pieces that are on the bottom with the drivetrain and the transmission and your uh, steering and things like that. Uh, a couple of little screws here on either end that you can use if you wanted to swap out the wheels or tires or whatever, you could do that. So you just unscrew those. Um, coming around to the front here, you have uh, lenses for the headlights, and then you have your classic V with the Corvette symbol right there on the front of the hood. And then you got your running lights here along the bottom with some ground effect spoiler here. Uh, coming around on the side here, you've got mirrors on both sides. They are rubber, which is kind of interesting. Uh, I'm not sure what to make of that at this point yet, but again, it's just gonna be a display car, so I'm not gonna be playing with it. Uh, but some nice detail along the side here with some of your, uh, I, I'm assuming these right here are like a working vent that helps kind of maybe cool this engine in this area since it is a mid-engine uh, uh, car. Along the back here, you have lenses in the back here for your tail lights. So that's actually pretty cool as well. And then you got some running lights here along the bottom, then your exhaust there, and then another, it looks like a little uh, Corvette logo here on the back as well as the Corvette sign and uh, wording. So that is the 2020 Corvette. And that's the first one here for the Mini GT. Second one here is the Acura NSX GT3 EVO. Say that 10 times fast. <laughs> Pretty cool car. Uh, this is probably, I would assume, a track car of some sort, like a uh, maybe a Le Mans or a Grand Prix type car. I, I'm not into the racing uh, over in the European circuits or anything like that. So if anybody knows, please let me know. I, I don't know a lot about some of these racing cars. I just picked it up because it was pretty cool looking. And uh, I just, I've, I've got uh, some racing cars I've liked and uh, I figured I'd get this one added to some of the racing cars that I have. But this is, this is kind of different for me. Um, again here, it's got, a, it's got a metal bottom. And again, you've got the two screws on the bottom if you wanted to remove that to go ahead and change out your wheels or tires. Uh, no detail really to say of some sorts on the bottom, so you really can't tell any of the suspension like that. Does have four rubber tires, which is very nice. Uh, coming around the front here, you've got your lenses here for the headlights. Uh, you got a lot of uh, tampering or decaling uh, across the car with Mobile One, and then of course the Acura sign, and then the number 57. Around the front here, you've got some nice ground effects for the spoiler. Uh, coming around to the side of the car, you've got your mirrors. Again, these are rubber mirrors. I'm not sure what the reasoning for that is. Maybe it's to keep it so if they, they don't break. Uh, nice big wing spoiler on the back. This is Mobile One. Um, I'm assuming, again, that this is a vent of some sort that helps with the cooling of the car on the side here. Very detailed, though, again, as well as all of the um, uh, sponsorships on the car. Coming around the back side here. You have uh, uh, some lenses here on the back, which I think is really pretty cool that they put lenses for the back of the car. So really pretty cool there. And then just some more detailing uh, with decals and so forth on the opposite side there. So nice looking car. It's gonna look great on the race circuit I'm putting together uh, with some of the other race cars that I've got. So that is the Acura. All right, next up is the I think this was the 2018 or 2019 Ford Mustang Shelby GT500. Uh, again, this one here, metal bottom, the two screws to uh, again, take off the bottom if you wanted to swap out these tires and wheels. 
You do have some nice detail along the bottom for your transmission and your exhaust. You got some uh, little bit of silver here to kind of highlight that a little bit. You can see a little bit of the drivetrain here in the front as well as some of the uh, um, rear differential and things like that on the back. And then coming around here to the front, again, here you have uh, lenses to make up for the headlights on the front. You've got some turnstile lights here on the bottom, and then you've got your uh, ground effects spoiler on the front there. Again, the mirrors are rubber. Uh, some general uh, striping down the side of the car with some turn markers there, big uh, spoiler on the back. And then on the back of the Mustang here, you've got, uh, these are red lensed tail lights, which I think is really cool. Uh, the Ford logo, you got the classic Cobra here. It's hard to see probably on the camera, but you got the classic Cobra there on the back. And then of course you can see some of the detail with the exhaust coming out the back there. And then of course, coming around the other side is just the opposite side on the passenger side of the car. So that is the Mustang that will go into the collection. And then finally, you all know that I am a big golf racing fan and I've been uh, collecting my golf cars for quite some time. And I've been actually putting that set together for quite some time as well. I saw this one and I had to pick it up. Again, four rubber tires on the bottom, on the car. On the bottom, the chassis is metal, has those two same uh, screws that you can pull it out. Not a lot of detail on the bottom of this one, so there's no exhaust leading to the back. There's no drivetrain anywhere. There's no front suspension or rear suspension on the car. But again, if you wanted to switch out the tires, you could, you got uh, two screws to pull those out and take care of that. Lots of detailing on the side here. You've got some venting. I'm again, I'm assuming this is for airflow for the car for the racing, because it looks like it comes out the back here by the spoiler. Um, rubber mirrors on the car. And then of course you got your tampering with your Golf tampering as well as number six. And then the, uh, the, the lettering of Ford across the front of the windshield. You do have lensed headlights here in the front. There's no running lights along the bottom. This is more of a race car, but you do have your ground effect spoiler across the front there. Down here on the hood, you've got your Ford logo, which you can't see very well on the screen. Uh, coming around to the back of the car, you got your big Golf, um, Golf fin spoiler there. And then you have lens tail lights for the back, which I think is really cool. And then I think, I'm assuming these two black um, looks like they look like part of the exhaust system. I'm assuming that's what that is. And then this on the bottom here, I believe it's finned out. I believe this is for airflow with the car as it's racing down the track. So pretty cool car, a lot of detail. Again, the same kind of detailing on the passenger side of the car as well. So those are the four additions that I have added to my collection. I'm pretty excited to get that in there, but I just wanted to share this with you guys and see what you thought there. If anybody has any comments, please uh, let me know about maybe this uh, Acura race car here and some of the circuits that might race on because I, I don't know. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is RC with RC67. Please like, comment, or subscribe. You guys have a great night. Take care.